So you're applying for an entry level programming job or you're thinking about doing this and you got a lot of concerns. You may not get an interview or you're not knowledgeable or you're just finding out a lot of things that you're just trying to figure out and you just want somebody to clarify this so that you can know how to move, how to navigate and get that entry level programming job or even if it's even possible. Well, you reach the right video. I got three things that I'm gonna cover in this video that's gonna clear things up and just give you a truth about entry level programming. Let me explain. Believe it or not, guys, it's all about the knowledge when it comes to certain aspects of the entry level programming, how you fit in. There's a lot of things that you gotta be concerned with, but we need to get you focused on what's important so that you can get a chance to even get the entry level job. Knowledge is one of those things to where, yeah, it's good to know, but most of the time, if you got a good core, good knowledge, know how to fit in and got a good base, as long as you have potential to learn or you fitting in or you are a bright person can learn on the fly, you usually can actually get that job on the hopes of getting better. And that's the whole point of entry level, guys. A lot of times you don't have the experience. A lot of times you're trying to figure things out and you just trying to get started. So employer is actually taking a, uh, a risk of bringing you in. But if done correctly, both of you guys going to benefit from that situation. It's just you got to make sure as an entry level developer, you got to come in with specific knowledge. And we kind of cover this in our seven step guide on step number one, as far as just the actual knowledge you need as an entry level developer. But long story short, guys, you, you got to have the right knowledge in order to get the attention of the interviewer. You come in, you actually um, go through the interview, you're a good fit culturally and everything kind of works out from there you just got to get that opportunity once you get that opportunity make a good impression and then have a the potential to expand your career you're not going to know everything up front i'm letting you know that now so don't get to the point to where you're trying to actually learn everything it's just not going to work you need to focus on what you actually need for that company entry level scary i know it's it, it's tough as an entry level developer or you're just trying to get in the door Fun fact, well, not a fun fact, but a uh, fact that this is the hardest time for you just to get the opportunity, just to get the job. Once you get that job, once you finish that first program, everything else gets easier over time because you're rinsing and repeating. You're building off of those fundamentals and that foundation. But if you don't get an opportunity to start, you don't know what's going on. And that's the hardest part is getting the opportunity to get started. That's why I say you guys don't get frustrated. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes you just don't have it that day or you didn't go good on an interview. Your thing is don't get discouraged. Just be consistent, learn from the experience and build from there. Be more strategic and put yourself in a position so that you can actually be uh, you have good energy during the interview, things like that. And nobody's going to tell you the truth about this, guys. It's going to be up to you to put yourself around people that's going to help you guys out and put you guys in a position to win. So do this for me, guys. Tell me about your experience as an entry-level developer or your experience trying to apply for an entry-level job. Has it been good? Has it been bad? Share your experiences and some of the hurdles that you have so that we can start a conversation down below in the comment section. Number two, the job search, guys. Let's talk about the job search a little bit because a lot of you entry level people feel like you can just apply for everything and just see what sticks. And uh, some of that's right, but don't do it. Do it more strategically. Don't just do it wildly because a lot of you guys applying for uh, jobs that you're clearly not um qualify for let's just say a manager or lead developer with zero experience well you have zero experience and you're trying to like uh you're trying to apply for that guys you got to understand you as a developer are building a reputation they got ai they got systems out here that even if you apply they keep track of that so that the next time you apply they are already making those uh, preconceived notions and they are actually profiling you based off of your previous um, behavior. So if you're applying for jobs that you have no business um, applying for, uh, I, I always say apply for a job within reason, within reason. If you have zero experience and they're looking for one year, two year experience, maybe three okay maybe you can apply for that job there's a little bit of gray area there but when they you have zero 
experience and then you're applying for a job that eight plus 10 years experience now you're just being unreasonable and delusional and that shows up in your job search guys you, you got to be more strategic about your job search because at the end of the day if you're not strategic about it they're gonna actually make these assumptions about you that are gonna be negative and I'm let I'm telling you the truth here, guys. We're we're talking about entry level development here, uh, our entry level programming jobs. You need to know this. I know it's hard for you to understand this or or just really take it in, but that is the case. I just want to make sure you're not the person who is actually uh, not benefiting from this, or or the job market is actually back blackballing you because of these things. And you got to know how to navigate this, guys, and, and really put yourself in a position so that you can do better. But we actually talk about this more in my seven step guide, guys. So if you haven't already, go ahead um, in the description box and get that seven step guide. And if you already got the seven step guide, enroll in our thirty day developer course, guys. A lot of stuff we're talking about is going to automatically be in that 30 day developer course so that you can get that entry level job or beyond that entry level job. But it's going to help you really focus in on what you need and don't make mistakes that you've been making so far and actually get you in that position to win, guys. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. Either job or side hustle, guys. All that's in the description box. Go check that all right, guys, the last thing about an entry level job is the expectation, landing a job. A lot of you guys either is on one extreme of the expectations or the other. Let's address the first one first. You're on the extreme of, hey, this is the hardest thing. I never get a job. I need to learn everything. That's not the case, guys. Expectations. You got to get them in order. Yeah, you got to learn some. You got to understand the fundamentals, the language or the uh, lingo of programming if i say loops arrays you should know those words if i tell you to go to the source safe or view source code and all that stuff you should know that lingo yeah a base understanding of the programming a uh strategy to learning how to code and just know hey let me learn the fundamentals and then go from there setting those proper expectations that what trips most of you guys up you feel like you gotta know any and everything just to apply or land a job which is not the case so that's the first expectation you do not need to know everything you just need to have a focused knowledge base and a focused project base so that you can actually solve problems for that company and have the potential to solve more problems in the future so that's one end of the spectrum the second end of the spectrum is the person who just think they can come off the street and apply for every job and get a programming job just by knowing html and again on the other end of the stream, guys, you got to have fundamentals. You have you got to know, have a base knowledge of programming. You know, you can learn this in a course over a course of a couple of weeks if you already got some knowledge already. Again, focus learning. You have to at least have a base. You have to be able to have proof that you are willing and capable of doing that work that that hiring manager needs to land that job as an entry level developer you're not going to come in from scratch even i even see people with degrees uh, can't get a job because they are presenting themselves as hey i got a degree i can I'm, i qualify for a job and it don't work that way guys the competition is fierce now so you have to put yourself in a position so that you can actually stand out from the other developers guys but at the end of the day it's all about what's your strategy to actually stand out from the competition. What are you doing? What's your plan? Do you have a roadmap? Do you got a specialty? How do I know what that job needs? Again, guys, we always talk about this in our seven step guide. I can't go over all the details in one video. That's why the guy's there. And also in our 30 day developer course, you know, I throw that out there for you guys because at the end of the day, it's not going to necessarily teach you anything, everything about code, but what it does do is give you a focus plan, a roadmap, give you a lot of certainty, know the landscape, know specifically what you need to actually get that job. And that's more important than a lot of the technical skills, because believe it or not, a lot of you guys already have enough technical skills to get a job. It's just that you're not presenting it right. You're not applying for the right jobs. You're not specializing or you're not 
pre uh, present positioning yourself in a way so that you can actually stand out and showcase your value, guys. But we got you covered on that. So um, if you haven't already, guys, like and subscribe to my content. I'm trying to be more consistent and get the numbers up so you guys can um, subscribe and hit the bell and all that stuff so that you can know that the video is coming out. And um, if you haven't already, links below for the seven step guide and my 30 day developer course, go and roll the net. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and um, you know comment below. Tell me about your situation and, and do all that for me, guys. And um, what we'll do, I'll put a link here on the screen for the seven step guide. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.